the magic lamp. Like the last episode, I forgot to film some of these scenes. Rest in peace, Bowsers. So, uh, Scott is dead because he killed the incline. Because of, um... Anyways, onward. What happened to the navigator's engines after Scott Lowy's death? What are you doing here? Get the hell out of here, you are enemy to them! So, screw it else. Duke is going to tell the story because Scott Lowy's dead. Long, long ago, began Scott Lowy, there was an old engine called Proteus. His lamp was so bright you could see it for miles around. Proteus said it, Proteus said it was a magic lamp. And I know that because me and him used to go to college together. What? He promised that if any engine ever found a lamp, their wishes would come true. Grandpuff, that story is stupid. I am now going to get the belt on you. Never call any of my stories stupid, youngster. But I'm older now. There's diesels around here. You're still a youngster, damn it! The moon was bright. Peter Sam huffed and puffed. The magic lamp I know isn't true. It's just an old story and quite silly too. Peter Sam clickety clack towards a junction. Suddenly, he felt a great rush of wind. His axles rattled and his couplings creaked. What's happening? Peter Sam whistled. He was so surprised, he puffed right past the junction. And up the wrong line away from the incline. Peter Sam still didn't believe Scar Lowy's story about Proteus' magic lamp. But then, he heard a creaking sound. And his wheels began to wobble. Up ahead, a light flickered off and on, on and off. Then he saw it. It was just the Fogman's lantern. Peter Sam was now even further away from the incline. The magic lamp I know isn't true. It's just an old story and quite silly too. He huffed quietly to himself. And suddenly, there was another rush of wind. Then, a creaking sound. And finally, a flickering light. On and off, off and on. The wind, the creaking sound, and the flickering light. Could it be Proteus's lamp? Thought Peter Sam. Then he saw it. <laughs> Peter Sam was now at the bottom of a steep hill, and now he was... Wait, wait, the quarry's that way, the quarry's that way, oh yeah, plot reasons. I wish I could find the incline, and I wish I could be safe at home in the sheds with the other engines. And I wish, Peter Sam puffed quietly, I wish I could find Proteus's lamp. Perhaps then my... Oh god, he's still more... Oh, you forgot he stops in the episode, so he can stop here. I never stopped him when recording. Before you ask, yes, this is very lazy recording, I know. Suddenly he felt a rush of wind whip around his wheels. Then he heard the strangest creaking, croaking sound. And then he saw a flickering light that flashed on and off, off and on. It came from the top of the hill. Peter Sam gasped. It must be Proteus's magic lamp. He knew he had to go up the hill and find it. The wind whirred and stirred. The sound became a whooshing and a wheeshing. And the light flickered brighter and brighter. Peter Sam off to the top of the hill. And there, off to the top, was Harold the helicopter. His blades made a wind that whirred and stirred. The sound whooshed and whooshed as the blades spun round. And Harold's bright light flickered on and off, off and on. Peter Sam was very surprised. Harold, he gasped. Hello, hummed Harold. I was dropping off some packages for the hill farms. 
What are you doing? You're very cringe. I'm what, you mother... Show Peter Sam the right way to the ink. At last, I am home. Um, Peter Sam, why haven't you not delivered those materials yet? What? Flip it. What? JJ JJ plain tricked me because I called him cringe and he led me here when he was supposed to lead me to the incline. So if he tells me you're passed on your way. But, 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 you know something, you're all cringe. Ever since Scott Lowy died, we all be nothing but cringe. I mean, sure, JJ is cringe, but like, you really triggered him. Well, you know what, guys? All of you are cringe as...